All right, guys, so the warming is done. We're going to go ahead and open. I'm going to go ahead and turn this fan off. We're going to go ahead and open the drain valve. Make sure it's in there. Take our trays out. and We're going to... Oh, it smells so good. Basil. So I'm just going to go ahead and take out a few of them. They all feel nice and warm, so that's good. Just kind of just taking everything out. Go ahead and close that. We went ahead and just labeled our trays with tape just so that we could keep track of what we're doing. So this was tray four, and tray four a couple of hours ago weighed 204, 204 grams, and so we're going to weigh it now. And it's 202, so it lost 2 grams. Let me move my scale, though, because my scale could be off a tiny bit. And so 203. 202. Oh, my goodness. All right, so that one lost 2 grams. But it's basil, and I'm pretty sure that it is done. This is tray number 1, which weighed 209 before. And it weighs 208 now. Here's the leaves. There's, it's, that's done. But these are peppers. But that's done. Well, I don't really. That feels done. So I lost one, so I'm going to call that good. Because these were the ones that lost the most earlier. So this is tray number five. It was at 259. And it's at 244. 240, 242. So it's going to have to go in. But what I do think I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the peppers and the okra back in. And I'm not going to do my herbs anymore. Because I think they've had plenty of time. And this was tray number three. And it was at 206. And it is at 206 believe that my herbs are done because this one is all herbs with nothing else but i don't know so was that one so this one is definitely didn't lose anything i'm a little all over the place i apologize for that number three didn't lose anything and i believe yeah that's three over there it, it it's the only one that didn't lose anything it stayed at 206 so those will go in jars now this one right here, I'm also calling done, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these peppers over here to have the peppers get more time since all that has to go in. I did not expect to have to put these back in there. Going back in is these two guys, tray number two and tray number five. So tray number two lost two and then tray number five lost Wow, a whole 17. Then we were at another two hours and we will come back with you guys and weigh them at that point. The numbers are telling us that it's not dry. I'm going to go ahead and even though it's telling me that, I'm going to go ahead and I uh, almost stuck a jalapeno in my mouth. I'm going to taste an okra because the okra was the thing that was the wettest earlier. Mm. And guys, I'm not sure that that's going to lose anything. And if you haven't had freeze dried okra, they're like candy. It's like you're eating candy without the calories and the sugar. Hmm, that is good. In the meantime, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this put in jars. I don't know if you want to stay with me for that or not. These were calendula flowers right here. I don't remember what kind. They're orange, obviously, but. I just thought I'd go ahead and freeze dry them. Normally, I just dehydrate them, but we have the freeze dryer now, and so we had extra room on the trays, and I was like, I'll just put those in there. They're so pretty. And then we have the basils. I'm just going to go ahead and 
put them in a jar. Yeah, these seem more like like dehydrated, but I don't know if you can see where, see how they're still green? They didn't turn black. The same with these. They're just, I probably will get a little jar of dehydrated basil just to maybe show the difference. But these right here, you know, some of these turned brown. They're not as pretty, but... I mean, they are going through that process, so I imagine you're going to lose some. But from everything that I've seen and heard, they say, you know, it pretty much stays the same, but it doesn't. I mean, it's not as brown and all shriveled up as the dehydrated ones, you know, because those just shrink up and you can fit so much in a little container. But they, they look good. I'm going to go ahead and that's my spicy. Put a ring on that. I am going to come back and vacuum seal these. And guys, while I have you here, I'm going to go ahead and just write spicy on here because I will forget. And this is batch number eight for us. So I'm just labeling that up there. I'm trying to keep up with how many batches we do. This right here that you see, this is just a batch that we did yesterday. That was batch number seven. And so we have some red noodle beans there and some North Georgia candy roaster squash that we freeze dried. And then we powdered some trombocinos. And we were not familiar with freeze dried food, guys, but these right here, I mean, this is like candy. I mean, you heard me say the same thing about the okra, but. When I was jarring these up yesterday, I mean, I probably ate a good 15 or 20 of them. You know, I probably had no calories, almost no calories. I mean, obviously, there's some calories in there. But for the taste and how good it was, so they're still out here because I, I will probably, yeah, I'll use them for cooking and stuff, but I will probably get into these so that I can um, just eat them. So, like, I left the jar out here without being sealed just so that I can get into them and eat it because I don't know if you can hear that but it's so good I know I'm working on something else but here I am I'm... you want one? Yeah. I'll grab the big one <laughs> so they're just good these are the Chomboncinos. I'm going to go ahead and do this tray. I'm going to have to put tape on both sides. But that, that one is four, and so that's my sweet basil. I'm going to go ahead and label it. And these are used lids. But they're perfect for this. So vacuum seal just fine. And I'm trying to get these in here because it's, it's very warm in here. And we have the fan going for the freeze dryer. But it feels pretty warm in here. I normally try not to touch them so that I don't get any moisture from my hands and stuff on there. I'm going to go ahead and move those stems over there so I don't have to worry about them. And then I don't know that I'm going to be able to fit this in here. I mean, I'll make it fit. So that's my sweet basil and then just my regular basil which I don't remember what it's called it's not called the regular basil but I don't remember but it's yeah it's just regular basil it's not sweet or spicy so yeah 
but I'll just put those in there. And I didn't get that much off of here because I use it a lot. So I just got in the garden and I get it when I need it. And my calendula, I just have to find the jar because I have, I'm not exactly sure where it is right now because I've got so much dehydrated stuff, but I have a jar of dehydrated calendula. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. I'm going to pause you for a bit. I'm going to find the jar of my dehydrated basil and my jar of the calendula so that you can see the difference as far as like in color and how some of them are just bigger. I hate that I'm having to crush this, but this is the regular one. And it does... Uh, no, I had put that on there and then I'm going to pause you and I will be back as soon as I find these jars. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put my stems in here. Huh? Speak up. I'm going to go ahead and put my stems in here. And these are going to get powdered. I'm just not doing it right now because I got other things to do. So, but they will get powdered. And then I'll just start using this pretty much. They do. They smell so good. They do. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. But obviously you don't want to be biting into a stem. So that's why I'm going to powder them. But I'll go ahead and. Take a little piece off. And it smells a lot stronger than what it actually tastes. So there's not a super intense taste right there, but there is some. So that's why I say I'm just going to add it to, to my food as spice with other spices. All right. So now to show you. This is the calendula. Can you see that? And those are the freeze dried calendulas. And then I'm going to show you. And I'm going to have to go ahead and seal the vacuum seal this back up when I'm done. But take that off. So I'm going to go ahead and, I don't know, maybe you'll hear it. Yep, good vacuum seal. So these are not the orange ones, or there may be orange ones in there. But just so that you get the idea. These are, I'm sorry? No, that, well, that could just be because of the color that they are. Well, a good example is these right here, you see how these are just scrunched up. They're just, I mean, they're so dry. Where these right here, look, look at the difference. I mean, that still looks like a flower as to where these don't. Or they look like a closed, shriveled up flower. Regardless of color. So that's, that's what they look like. So this is a freeze-dried and this is a dehydrated. And I think this one is more like the one I was just holding up. So I think these are like the same and you see the difference. This is the freeze-dried and then this is the dehydrated. So, even though these closed up, but these were smaller flowers to begin with anyway. So, that's the difference in just the flowers. I hope you can see that. It's a big difference. It doesn't matter because we'll keep it. We'll use it, at, we'll use it in soaps. We'll use it, and I'm putting this here because it needs to be, let me label, put the label back on. 
we'll put the label back up there once it's done but so that we don't forget that we need to seal those because like i was saying we're going to use it in soaps we'll use it in teas and so you know whether they're open like this or they're closed like that it doesn't it doesn't really matter i'm going to go with let's see that was spicy that was sweet this is regular this is regular so i don't know if you can see it in the jar already can you see that just how darker how brown kind of that is and just how much greener that is and you see how much smaller these are i'm going to go ahead and take it out so that you can see as well but just looking at it in the jar this is also vacuum sealed okay and i mean You see that? And then I'm going to put This is this is what you have. So this is the freeze dried and this is the dehydrated. They look a lot better freeze dried. But they're, you know, I, I like both ways. I'm not going to say I prefer one over the other. We just got the freeze dryer. So tell you the truth, I haven't had freeze dried basil before, but the dehydrated works just fine as a spice. I use it as a spice, you know, or um, also basil tea. If you haven't had basil tea, there's, there's a lot of good health benefits from that as well. But so that's the difference. I mean, you can actually, you know, they're greener and stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and taste both of them. The freeze dry. Grab a little leaf. And other than the fact that it has that little bit of crunchiness from being freeze dried. It tastes just like basil. Um... Yeah, and you don't have you don't get the nice fresh soft leaf. Like I just pulled it off the plant, but and then the dehydrated. Now, this goes to show you you don't know what you're missing. So you actually have it. So to me, dehydrated basil was dehydrated basil not as good as the fresh basil but good enough to use for all my things now i just tasted these together and my dehydrated basil has a much weaker taste and it doesn't taste like pure basil um, I'm not describing that well. Weak, weaker basil, and it has a different taste. You here, you, you taste. Here is a fresh leaf. I mean, a freeze dried basil. Smells or tastes fantastic? How does it taste? I don't know if you can hear him, guys. He says it's, it smells fantastic. It tastes like basil. So here is a dehydrated one. I mean, it tastes like basil. It just tastes like a, like a very weak basil, I guess. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's less... It's less basil than the freeze-dried basil. So, yeah, you can still get basil, but it's almost like a hint of basil as opposed to right. the other one. You get that full basil flavor. And I did not notice the smell of basil. It's, it smells like basil. Not as, okay. not as strong, yeah, but... Yeah, definitely not as strong. But it's there. You know, I've been using my dehydrated basil, and I probably will continue to dehydrate basil. Because I can get so much 
dehydrated. But I'm gonna say I like the I think I like the freeze dried basil better. But when it comes to like, you know, in your soups and stews and your teas, you're gonna get the flavor is there. Obviously, I don't taste it as much in, in this one, but you still get the flavor. So there you have it. Dehydrated basil, freeze-dried basil, dehydrated calendula, freeze-dried calendula. So the, the visual differences are there. I, I didn't taste the calendula for you. You know, these are edible. I didn't taste it because I want to keep it. I guess that's it, guys. The other ones are not done. I do have over here. I have where I have dehydrated okra and dehydrated jalapenos just so that we can do the visual and taste test when those are done. But that's not going to be done for a couple of hours. See you back then. This is done. We did an extra two hours. And I'm going to turn off this fan so I can hear you. Open the drain valve. Opening the drain valve. And take out the two trays that we have in here and hopefully they are good to go because what we're gonna do is we are going to defrost this that we might bring you along we're gonna do a quick defrost and actually why I have you on I'm gonna go ahead and close this door back up and I am going to set it to defrost now I don't let it do its defrost for two hours I'm just going to go ahead and set defrost and I'm going to let it go for 10, 15 minutes, however long it takes me to talk to you. And yeah, so it's going to start doing its thing and then we'll, yeah, we'll probably bring you along. Not sure, but all right. So tray number two is 222 which can't possibly be right because we were at 211 oh okay it's right because remember i put all these peppers on there which weren't on there and i didn't weigh it when i did that but i am going to do is i am going to take those peppers off of there and just put them in another tray real quick just so that I can get the accurate weight of that right there. But I am certain that this is done. But just for the sake of measuring because we have been trying to keep the different kinds of peppers separated. Those, those, those peppers were on there. Those The little ones were on there? Yes. That's right. They were. Thank you. My numbers were going to be off again. <laughs> I looked at that. I'm like, how did it gain? All right. So I think that's about right. And so did I add anything else on here? Because it still says more. Those are all the little peppers. I didn't add. I don't think I added any on there. And so this is tray number two. Okay. And it says 211 and we were at 211 before. So that's good. So this right here, I'm not even going to weigh because the peppers are done. And tray number five was at 242 before, and it did lose. It's at 238. I did not expect that. This is a big one. That is dry. Well, guys, because I set the defrost because... I didn't think that it was going to have to be go back in. I set the defrost and then we don't, I don't know enough about it to go back in there and just add more dry time when that option is no longer available to me. I think it's dry though. I mean, I know it lost. You want out here. That's a jalapeno. It's hot. The taste increased. Huh? No, it didn't increase. Oh, it's just a hot jalapeno. Yeah. And here, taste in okra. Let me give you a, I'm trying to find a thicker okra. Yep, there's a thick one. That is good. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. 
and it's it's dry, right? Yes. So even though it lost, so so we're not going to put it in there, guys. I just want to show you. So these are the dehydrated okras, and these are the freeze dried okras. Let me take this out. Nice little seal. Dehydrated and freeze dried. Oops. You see that? So these look like I just cut them up. You know, like it's just fresh okra and I cut them up. I mean, till you touch them and they're so light, you know, they're definitely not like fresh cut up okra. There's no weight to them. But these are like this. Now, I used to think these right here, the dehydrated, were a good little treat. But I can't even, can you hear that? That is so hard. You try that one. Like they're just hard. I mean, they're. Yeah, that's a very different taste. Different in taste and also the, the texture, right? Oh, yeah. That was a dehydrated. And then again, the freeze dried. The freeze dried is just so crunchy and just so soft. So a big difference. Like, like these right here, the dehydrated would definitely is for soups and stews and stuff like that to be cooked. But the freeze dried, I could just snack on like this. You saw the difference in the color. And you've heard us talk about just the difference in the texture. The uh, these taste fresher as well, but they are because we just freeze dried them now. The dehydrated ones have been around for a while. This is not the right time, the right date on that. That's from something else. I just haven't taken that off. And then the jalapenos. Well, that's it. That's at least a year old. Yeah, because this is from last year's garden. All right, so these jalapenos, you see that this is dehydrated and this is the freeze dried. So you can see how this is just all shriveled up and the color, and you see how nice this one looks. It just so you can just see that for yourself and no. Now, because I did the dehydrated okra in my mouth, I'm not going to do the jalapeno. Do you want to do the jalapeno? Sure. Since you did a freeze-dried jalapeno, he's going to do that. Yeah, it's kind of the same as like the okra. It's, so, uh, it's a much like tougher. Much tougher, much dried mm -hmm. because it's dehydrated. I mean, the peppers just look good. And these green okras, they're just a mixture of different okras. Um, I think I have hmm, Clemson or Spineless Clemson. or Yeah, I think that's what they're called. And the red ones or purple, those are Orange Jing. They're not orange at all, but that's what their name is. And then I have Heavy Hitter okras, which are supposed to be like really great producers. We didn't experience that this year, but I'm not going to hold that against them because our garden didn't do exceptionally well this year. I'll have to see how they do next year. And so because everything didn't do as good as it normally does, I can't really say anything about the heavy hitters. I just know that they didn't do well, but none of our okras did that great either. But this is the first year that we've done the orange jing and the heavy hitters Hear it. there we go that is good and sealed and so it looks like this right now all you know it's not really like sunken in but once that oxygen or absorber starts working it'll go ahead and suck that in it doesn't need to do it but a lot of times it will so I'm going to go ahead and set that off to the side. And something I didn't do and I normally always do is I label my bags before I put anything in them because now it's going to be very hard to write on this. 
but I'll manage. But yeah, I'm gonna have to label that. We need to wait too. Oh, I need to weigh. You're absolutely right. I need to weigh this. Goodness. That way we know if it's absorbed anything. Any moisture. And so this is 80 grams. So my total weight with everything is 80 grams. And this was okra. And green pepper. And I'm not going to worry about putting raw weight in there or anything like that because I'm... I'm most likely not going to be rehydrating this. And if I was, I would just put what I need. I would add water. It would absorb the water that it needs. And then I'd just dump out the rest of the water and just use them. And so that's labeled so that I don't forget. These I'm going to just go ahead and put in this jar. I don't think they'll both fit. That is a difference, though, with dehydrated food. The dehydrated food, because it shrivels up so much, it really condenses down, and you can fit so much more into a smaller area. So I think I did, a while back, I did 21, I think it was 20 or 21 pounds of pumpkin dehydrated pumpkin and I actually got it into a jar like this I powdered it but it was like this I think I might actually still be working on some okay yeah this is not all gonna fit in one but I'll go ahead and put a little bit more in here and then this one will get vacuum sealed and then the next little bit, I'll just go ahead and put in that jar and not even worry about vacuum seal it because we'll use it within the next week or so. We like hot stuff. We go through pepper pretty quickly. That's a little much. So I think since the last time I talked to you, um, he vacuum sealed all of these that I'm going to go ahead and put in a little bit of water. Out here, I wanted to show you because we have worked on, this was batch number six, and this is freeze-dried eggs, raw eggs. And I just wanted to show you that we did these and that we just did a taste test. And I'll go ahead and put an info card on that so that you can watch that video if you'd like. But this is the first time that we've had freeze-dried eggs. We don't, we don't buy them, but we freeze-dried these a few days ago, and then we just tasted them, and we were surprised. So if you want to watch that video, I'll go ahead and try to remember to add an info card on that. Hydrate that. So it doesn't take much. But I'm going to put enough in there just to cover it, just so that I don't have to keep worrying about, you know, mixing it in or whatever. We're just going to let that sit there in there. And it doesn't take much because I don't know if you can see that, but it's already starting to plump up a little bit more. So they could use a little bit more time. They look good. I mean, they could almost pass for freshly cut. So I'm going to go ahead and have him taste the one that's already completely plumped out. And he doesn't mind. He likes hot stuff. It tastes like you just cut it. Does it? Yep. No, no crunch, nothing at all? I mean the crunch of like a, a, a fresh, fresh pepper. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and do it. So, so yeah, so that was good. So guys, I hope that you have learned something or that you have enjoyed this. Thank you very much for spending your time with us i will try to put those car info cards up there so that you can watch other videos and again thank you i hope that you have a wonderful and blessed day till next time